So, es geht Schlag auf Schlag. Es sind einigermaßen gut in der Zeit. Und ich begrüße jetzt Coach Lee Rowland von den Fargo Raiders. Dort ist er der Offense-Koordinator. Hat dort auch schon einiges erreicht. Er hat 2011 mit seiner Mannschaft den Austrian Bowl gewonnen, 2011 den Euro Bowl gewonnen. Letztes Jahr war er in Europa Vizemeister. Und wer kennt ihn auch aus der NFL Euro Bowl, die Cologne Centurions trainiert hat. Viel Spaß mit seinen Vortrag. about the offense that we run, it's a, it's, a, it's a speed offense, it's like fast, focus, finish. There's another ref word we use, but I won't use it here. Uh, we have to be fast. We're going to be as fast as we possibly can because we're going to put the defense, we want to put the defense in a bind. We, we want to wear them out, we want to see a big fat defensive lineman running sideline to sideline. And we just want to tear on the new ass off, it's basically what we want to do. So, um, these are core characteristics, which goes back to what Coach Reinbold was talking about, is toughness. You've got to be tough. Toughness, tempo, finish, big plays, and an attitude. You've got to have an attitude, and it's that you've got to be, don't mean you like Coach said, you don't have to be an asshole, but you've got, you've got to have some, they call this swag, I don't know what the fuck that means, but. You've you got, you got, you got to have an attitude. You've got to come on and you've got to say, well, I'm going to kick the shit out of you. I'm going to drop a few F-bombs. I'm sorry, but that's the way it goes. So, you've got to play tough. And tough, like Coach said, tough is about doing the right thing, doing it the right way, getting back up and doing it again. Not let the, don't lose your temper. The, the biggest thing we try to coach our guys and what Coach should put into them is don't be that guy. Don't be the one that does a stupid penalty, he takes a swing. Walk away, get him the next play. Our thing on offense is play the next play. Be as fast as we possibly can. Attitude, this is something that, well, I was lucky enough to be at UCLA a few months ago, and they've got a saying there, you don't, you don't inherit an attitude, you create it. So you create it with the way you coach your players. Now we, we teach toughness. We, we try to teach it because we go so fast, play the next play, play the next play, get it done. We have a thing where the defense, defense coaches, they know they are, they'll just walk in and try and walk out when we're trying to run to run plays, run plays, run plays. We'll coach on film. Everything we try to do, we coach on film. We, we want to get as many reps, record, get the reps, do it as much as you can, as often as you can, and you'll become better. Coach them on the film. Give it. There are coaching points you can make, but coach them on the film when you can. Okay, our keys to success. <coughs> Excuse me. Common purpose. That's when we've all got one goal, which is to, to win. You can put it in any way you want. It's to win, it's to dominate opponents, but it's to be a team. To be a football team. To be a football. It's a, like, a, a UCLA, they call themselves the Band of Brothers like off of the TV series, uh, and they mean it, they are a band of brothers. No one puts my brother on the ground, we try and do, try and do the same thing for the Raiders. No one goes after a Raider, ever. Okay, if one goes, we all go. So that's what we try and put. Trust in one another. We don't want you to mistrust the guy next to you. Let him do his job, you do your job. Have the trust in the man that he's going to do his job, and that goes for the whole team. Team ego, we're going to be, some people say we're an arrogant team, yeah, all right, we're arrogant, but we, we, can, we can prove it, you know, we, we're going to be arrogant, not in a, a nasty way, but in a way that we're confident in what we do, we're confident in the, in the product that we present, we know that we can play football, we know that we can win games, and, that, and that's, that's a, for us, is our team ego. Accountability, everyone's going to be responsible for everybody on the team. That goes back to trust. We're going to trust everyone. We're going to be accountable to everyone. You know, if I got a, my left tackle screws up, he's going to have the balls to come back and say, my bad, I did it. It's my fault. Not, not, no finger pointing. Get on with it. Play the next play. Be the uncommon man. Do something special. 
do something special, be an outstanding player. Try to be the best you can be the whole time. And with the Raiders, that goes off the field as well. You know, they, they walk around with their jackets and all that, and they're told, if you're wearing that jacket, you represent the team, and you represent Innsbruck, and you represent Sparco, you represent the sponsor. Be accountable for what you do. Competitive greatness, be competitive. Know that you're going to go as hard as you can, as fairly as you can. No cheap shit, no cheap shots, no taking, no taking anyone out. We'll do it by winning. That's, that's how we can be competitive and be great. And then it goes back again, extreme toughness. We do off-season drills. We're in off-season drills now that we do in the, in the hall. It's basically what FSU do. And I mean, we tear them in the ourselves. I mean, we really do. But they show up week after week after week. And that's what makes us great. Because we are a very conditioned football team. We can play and we keep going, keep going, keep going. Very rarely do you see one of them say, no, I'm not going home. They'll keep going and when there's someone lagging in the drills, they'll go and pick him up. The seniors are going to pick him up, bring him back, and everybody's rooting for that one kid who maybe can't do it. He's a, he's a rookie. So it's, it's everybody for everybody. Okay, our offense It's built all security. That's the number one thing, all security. We cannot turn the ball over in any way. Interceptions, fumbles, that for us kills us. It proved it this year. We, we turned the ball over in two big games and that cost us the games. So this is a big factor for us. Tempo. We're going to play fast and then play faster. Last year we averaged getting the ball off with 18 seconds left on the clock, on the play clock. We want to be faster. Fast, fast, fast. Sometimes we will give up motions. We like to create motion, but sometimes we'll give up motion just so we can go get another play. And sometimes it will be exactly the same play we just played, just to get the ball off, get the defense, get them, get them moving, get them working. And this is how we control the defense. We can control their substitutions as we walk down the field. We can control the personnel we're putting in. We can control how they play to us. Okay. He's, he wants to make an adjustment. We're going too fast. You can't get a signal in. As soon as that ball is handed off or thrown downfield, that quarterback is looking to the sideline on the next play and he's getting it in. He's got it in before that ball, before that ball's even spotted. We're very, very fast. Get the ball to playmakers in space. Know who your playmakers are. Get it to them. Protect the pass. We do that with our quick game and with our screens. Um, quick game for us is just not a, a like what would be a three step out as in one step because we're always in the shotgun. Um, our quick game can be a quick three step drop from shotgun. It's a snake series which we'll get into a little bit later. Play the next play. Play the next, the big thing you see. Coach did, play the next play, get the next play. Think players, again, what Coach Ram said, think players not players. Not, it's not the scheme, it's the players. And you've got the players to fit the scheme. The players must fit the scheme. Not the scheme must fit the players. Okay, requirements. Simple. We try and be as simple as we possibly can. We're in no huddle. We never ever huddle, except when, you know, late in the game when we're just trying to kill the clock. And it's bang, bang, bang. We're going to go in as fast as we possibly can. Speed and quickness. Speed and quickness, that goes for the players, that goes for the linemen, because the linemen, as soon as that ball snap, plays over, they're downfield and they're on the ball. They're looking for where that ball's going to be spotted. And I want that offensive, but that center and that offensive line on the ball, ready to go. We have, we have certain words where we can just say one word and bang, they know what play is going to go. And it will go straight down, fast as we possibly can. This is the one I love. Attack the defense. Don't play defense on offense. Okay? Don't play defense on offense. We want to be as aggressive as we possibly can. Don't let them dictate to you what you're going to do with the football. You know, oh, we can't run the ball. Find a way to run it. You've got to run it. You must be able to run the football. Don't change the play. Change the presentation. 
different formations, use different formations, do it a different way. There's always a way you can run the same play and in a multitude of formations. You have to be creative, but you have to be able to implement it to your players. Your players must be able to grasp that. Quarterback friendly, get the ball out fast. Every time. Never want him getting touched. If you don't want him touched, hat for a hat. Always got to have a hat for a hat. If you ain't, you're going to hit someone who's going to get banged up. Okay, so we always want to make sure we've got someone on someone. There's always someone, someone on the defense is always accounted for. And our, the, we, we call it, we have what we call a conflict player. And that's how we can, although we, they may have six in the box, we've only got five players, five offensive linemen. That sixth guy is our conflict player. And we put him in conflict. He does run, whatever he does, we'll make him wrong. Let our athletes create in space and to get the ball to your best players, get it to them in space. Find a way to get the ball outside the box. Get it outside the box, make the defense, make the tackle, open field tackle. They don't like that. We want cornerbacks to tackle our guys. Don't want safeties. We'll push crack to the safeties. We want the cornerbacks coming up and make the play. Because we don't like linebackers. We will take care of We want to be outside down the sideline and making the cornerbacks come up and make the play. Spread the field, open field tackle explains itself. Don't play in the box. You know, you, you, just, you, you, put, you go two backs. With a tight end, they're going to put nine in the box or ten in the box if they can. Right? Spread them out. Get them out of it. Right. Create the energy. This is, this is make them have fun. Our, our guys love going fast. They just love it. I mean, we had our first fight inside because they're getting so hyped up about it, the way we're going now. I mean, I know a couple of you guys have been to our camps and you've seen our, the, the, the speed that we went in the last couple of years, but now we've just, you know, we, we've taken it a step further. Okay, difference. Turnovers, sacks, drop balls, foolish, foolish penalties. It's a 12% rule. So, you're working, if you run 60 plays, then you can't have more than seven of the above, which will give you just under 12%. If you can keep these things under 12%, you'll win the game. That's, that's, that's an NFL statistic, that's a college statistic, that's a high school statistic. It's a proven thing. And I have to say, turnovers, number one. Number one, no turnovers in any way, sacks. We try and get the ball out quick. Get it out quick. That way you avoid the sacks. Drop balls. We don't want no drop balls. None. Okay? If it's a high ball and he just can't get to it, that's fine. But there, here, where he should have his hands on it, we don't want it. Stupid penalties. That can't happen. No foolish penalties. You know, if there's a penalty where someone smacks you in the mouth and you react to it, that's heat of the moment. I'm not talking about. Offside, they can't stand offside penalties. There's just stupid. Block in the back, stupid penalties. They're the foolish penalties. So, <coughs> we're going to work very hard to stay below that 12%. Alright, this, this was our base offense. Basically, we were a pistol team. We'd come out of two back, no tight end. And what we like to do, we're going to run going to run the option now. We're going to run triple option, okay, from the pistol, and we're going to, as you can see, we're going to set the blocks up, always going to read off this defensive end, we're going to come down, we do a, we call this a through block, where we're going to take the defensive end, and what we teach our tackles is, we tell them, we tell them don't just go straight to the linebacker, we want you to try and physically step on the toes of the inside foot of the tackle, of the defensive end. That way, that defensive end thinks he's got, he's got to do a block, he's got to defend the block. So as he starts to defend that block, he's, he's physically going to stop or he's got to make a play. He thinks he's got to make a defensive counter move to that tackle. Okay, then the tackle's going to go into the linebacker. We call that through block. And then we're going to double two. This is all gap blocking scheme. Okay, and then we call that's going to read this. He's going to read that for the pull, and then we're going to come out there with a the motion. All different ways we run it, and we were very successful with that. But we found 
it, it wasn't, this is more of a downhill thing, okay, where you need the big bodies, okay, now, we call, uh, we, uh, our offensive line are midges, right, they're serious, they're mid uh, you know, they're midges, right, the biggest guy I've got, and he's the, probably the best, best tackle in Austria, is my left tackle, he's like 6'2", six 6'3", six maybe, Maybe 120, 125 kilos, right? My right tackle, right, was 100 kilos, right? About the same, same size as me. But he's got a heart that he can play. He'll play his balls up for him, right? So there's no way that we are physically going to move people one on one. You know, this guy will do it, this left tackle will blow up anybody. This left guard, Great player, but a mental midget. Just, just can't, couldn't take the, you know, oh, I've torn the, the Achilles tendon, I need to go see the, one of those guys, okay? So we had to come up and say, okay, we, we might have to come away from this, but we still want to stay with the triple option. But this, uh, this I'm just going to show you some clips. I mean, this, this works. I mean, this is against grass. Which would, you know, Grace is a good football team. Now, this is how the scheme works. He's going to take this, he's going to come to this guy here, where you can see he's, he's going to step to him, and then he's going to work to that linebacker. This is a double team to there, to this backer, and we're one for one on there. And then quarterback's going to read that, and then take the ball outside if he, if he decides to give. And my quarterback's in the room, so I can't say too much about what he does on this play. Okay, but this, this is the sort of stuff that we do. Again, we got a pretty good running back. Go to the next play. Okay, this young kid, he's took, taken over from Florian Bryan, who's a really good running back. He, he's he's going to be really good. Okay, now we keep it. We've got the pitch back now. Again, we're going to double down. He's going to. Now I think what we've done, we've called out, because they stacked it there, they ran a stack on us. So what we do, we make what we call a TED call. A TED call for us tells that tackle, play side tackle, you stay on that guy, okay, and we're going to read that backer. If that backer shoots the gap, okay, the quarterback's going to pull it. So instead of, instead of reading him, we now read him. Uh, he reads the backer, pulls it, takes it out. Now he doesn't have to get a million yards. He's just got to be, a, if, if your quarterback can be a threat as a runner, that's all I want. I don't need him to run 200 yards every day. I just need him to be a threat where they have to account. And you'll see it in this. We've been working the ball. This is, now this is from our king or queen set, but it's still, it's still the same blocking scheme. We can run it from pistol, but we can also run it from this. But this is still a gap scheme that we're running. This is against the old enemy. Okay, they've got to account for it because if, if, if they don't account, you see the kid there. If they don't account for him, then he's going to come and make the play, try and make the play here. If he's not getting in, he's going to pitch it. They're going to swing in deep now. Okay, so we, we just know, we're always trying to get, this is the thing we talk about, get them, get them in space. Alright, now this is where we started with this, and now we've gone more to the zone read concept. And the zone read concept for me, coaching the offensive line, it's easier. We, we're, not, we're not interested in, I'm not interested in putting anyone on their back. I'm not interested in, in deep cleaning, I don't give a shit about that. All I want to do is cover them up, okay? I just want to be out, if, that, if, that, if that's the defender, all I want to do is cover him up. I don't, have, I don't have to move him, I just cover him up. Let the running back make the play. And what we do, we tell the running back, if there's a nose, or a shade like that, we want him to press the nose, okay? Press it, okay? Here, press the nose. We actually tell him, chase the nose. 
okay, and then make a cut. The quarterback has still got the same read, okay? Here, this is the option phase of it. We get, we get, we get, he gets into what we call the option phase. Okay, here we've got motion coming through. There's a through drop. Again, we're coming through. Now, if we have a linebacker detached outside, if this linebacker was detached outside and they were covering down, trying to cover down and still play a too high shell, if he's outside, that, def that tackle is going to stay on that defensive end until that linebacker shows in the box. When that linebacker shows in the box, he's going to disengage and try and turn to the backer. So, but the quarterback has still got the same read. Now, this is the option part of it, the true triple option part of it. But what we've incorporated into it now is a key game. For us, the key game is our outside screens. Okay? So if, we're gonna, if we want to run what we call key one, this is a screen to this dude. But we're still going to call this play. Nothing changes for the offensive line. We're still going to call it 2021, whatever we call it. Okay? We make a signal, tells this receiver, okay, I'm key one. They're going to try. Could, they may give the ball to me. Okay? It's predominant on this. This is the key player. Okay? We see him in the box like this. Okay? Then we say, okay, we got numbers. We got numbers. That ball's going to go outside. Okay? We see it here. Key two, we got numbers. In fact, in all of these, we got numbers. If they cover down, okay, we say to the quarterback, okay, if we don't get angles to run the blocks, okay, then it becomes a simple read for you on the zone. You still run the zone play. Okay, now the defense is going to try and do all, all sorts of shit and try and screw you up. Look, there's an answer for everything. There's different ways that we can do it. We can package the play. We can run the same play a dozen different ways. A dozen different ways is the same play. Just, like I say, change the presentation. Same play, change the presentation. Nothing changes for these students in there, which for me is the most important. I want those five in there to know exactly what they've got to do every time because we're going so fast. Okay, so I'm just going to... This is with the option part put into it. Okay, now, we got a tight end in there. We don't usually go with a tight end. Okay, but we're gonna run this. You see he's gonna come. He's zoned in there. We're working a combo off to him. He could have bounced it. But it's like a six, seven yard game. There's the key. We told the quarterback he's got a key run there. Okay, so a little fullback. Okay, we, we've seen this. We've seen. We know what they're going to do. He reads it. He's come. Get a big game. Now what you'll see. Is he's going to press this. He's going to press this really hard and come back. We know it's not going to go over there. We know it's going to come back here. Right underneath it. already seen it, he's made the decision, okay, I'm going to throw this is our key three. Not a real good block by our receiver. Now our receivers are getting told this year, what's going to get you on the field is not how good you, how well you catch the football, it's how well you block. If you can't block, you're not getting on the field. I don't give a shit how many catches you had last year. You've got to be able to block because this should have been a touchdown. He should have got this block, he's got angle, he's got everything. We should have made that should have been a touchdown play. <laughs> 
Ouza. Right. There it is again, key three. Now we're getting the block. Positive yards. We teach them, we tell the receivers we want to get them. We want them to get outside. Don't come back inside. Once you get outside those blocks, you get out and go numbers sideline. You get north. Don't come back inside. And I think they gave us this two A gap players. We said, no, we're not going to go there. We know we've got the numbers outside. Decided he's going to keep it. I'll tell you that again. Quarterback can run and becomes a threat. That's the other thing that we got the quarterback to do this year was to make that make that fake throw to the outside because what it does, it'll freeze these guys. It influences what they do. See, you can see there, I mean, we're not big. That's, there it is, punch the key off. Let me try and move on a little bit to I'm sorry if you're here from Graves, but we told you I your ass all that day. A different look now. Vienna, best football team in Europe right now. This is the Austrian Bowl. I mean, and they, they can fly. These kids can fly. Big man, well coached. But we're still getting the average six dollar carry against him, even in, in, in this game. Oh shit, 10 minutes? Jeez. I don't know. Move on a little bit now. Hold on a second. All right. This this is our this is what we call our run pass. Okay. What we've got is we have a run built in. Okay. There's the six man box. This is the conflict defender. Okay. Conflict defender. The quarterback is reading him. We take the snap, the running back is going to run over the quarterback's toes. Okay? We have a down drop and, and someone's going to pull. They don't know what, you know, it's just obviously as you prepare for your opponent, you know what the defense is. So what we're doing, we're going to, we're going to read him. Whatever he does is wrong. If he, if he comes this way, if he starts to move this way, the quarterback's pulling it and we're throwing it right in there to that, we call that a pop route. Right now, bang, straight in there. Okay, we have a key two built in and we have a fade built in. Okay, over there that, that actually shows a, a block. We're actually going to run a, a hitch there. So we find the conflict defender and make him wrong. If they want to put seven in the box against that, hey, good luck. I'm going to throw the ball downfield. You, you've got to make sure you get to it. Okay, same thing there against this. This is like, basically, this is a the Vienna defense, they like to put the wheel back over there. There's the conflict defender. This time we're going to run into the trips. We're making him the conflict defender and we'll, we'll, we'll take this route. We can give him whatever route we want. Okay, so we always know we're going to have to get a conflict defender. Now, if, he's, if he decides he's going to blitz, we well, better get there. Because we're going, to, we're going to get that ball out. If he blitzes, that ball's gone. Because we got a hat, you know what I said earlier, we got a hat for a hat. Same thing here, okay? Hat for a hat, conflict defender, bam. It's not always going to be that route. It could be something else. We, we, can, we, can, we, can, we can put any of our three-man combo routes to this. It's still going to be built off the quick game. 
It doesn't matter what it is, we can, we can add to it how we want. So we had, we had a lot of success with this last year. Uh, we've expanded it this year, we're going to run it more. So there you see it there, there's the front. Get a better look from the see that. Alright, okay. Conflict Defender, there. That's the guy we want to put in conflict right now. Expands, we give. Boom. Can't make a point. Same thing. Now, your quarterback is not going to be right every time. Okay? But I will never ever go to him and say you screwed up, you should have done this, you should have done that. He's out there playing it, I'm not. If he thinks he's made the right call, then that's it. I'm going to loop with it and play the next play. Okay, there's the conflict defender, he's not moving, we're going to give the ball. seen enough of that run. Conflict defender. Quarterback is reading. Plays the run. Pull it. Throw it. Should have been a touchdown. Quarterback knows that. Now if you look at what the old line's doing, okay, Good player, good player. He's probably, last year he was probably about 90, 95 kilo. He's about 6'4". But he's got, he's got this. He'll play, he'll play until he's dying. These two, they could probably, I, I, I did a clinic, where was it, Mario, you were in. I did a clinic a few weeks ago for Holtzling and Twisters. I had GFL 2. Their whole offensive line is bigger than mine. Alright? The whole offensive line. So it's not, it doesn't matter how big your guys are, it's making the system fit what they do. We do a lot of pulling, we do a lot of we try and get as many down blocks as we can. We're always going to try and help the center out. Always. Because that guy's got to get that ball back. You've got, you've got no center, you've got no game. You've got to have that snap. So you see, here he's just covering him up. We're not going to, we're not going to block. We're not going to knock anyone over. Same thing. There goes the run. Again, conflict defender. Find out who he is. Put him in conflict. Find a way. <laughs> Find a way to make it physically impossible for him to do the run. This guy, boom. <coughs> Try to blitz it. We're going to give the ball. And you, you don't have to give up. I mean, we were getting some good yards in this game. You don't have to get it. If you can consistently run the football, when the opportunity shows, you pass the football off the same play. Now this is where we have a what we call a three by one rule, where at any time in our game, any time, if we see that, we're going to get the ball out, get the get the ball to the playmakers in space. If they want to give him that, good luck, because that's the best player on the team right now. Okay? If not, we will run our regular play. We have a three by one with that single receiver. The quarterback can just, he's got signals, Christ knows what they do, I don't care. But you can get a signal out there and get the ball out there now to the playmaker in space.
take. We're not doing anything special. All we're trying to do is cover people up. Get it out of it. Get it out of the quarterback's hands as quick as we can. This is still this, this is still the pop light, we've still got that going. Look. Okay, now this guy. Alright, the right guard couldn't run out of sight in a day. Alright, if you understand that term. Alright? When he runs a 40, we use a sundial. Okay? But he's pulling. He knows what he's doing. He's getting around there. We've got the double team there working up to the back end, and he's pulling. He's finding work. Run this out of a two by two, and then we do motion across. Same deal, different presentation. First play of the game against Graz in the, uh, I think it was the Euro Bowl semi. Okay, now, this is uh, a similar play, same concept. He said, now it's more of a stretch play. How much time have I got? Ten. Good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got this is more, this is more of a pin and pull concept. Okay, same thing. We want to find a conflict player. We're trying to pull people. We're going to run all sorts of stuff off of it. Get people, put people in conflict. Okay, quarterback's got the option to give it, or he can throw it. Okay, we know where we want to pull the goal. Again, we're using a tie end. We're not going to use one this year. Okay, it's, it's now it'll, be, it'll come more from there from a five man uh, surface there. Okay, we can tag everything. You know, he's got the choice. His running back's going there. If we see, if we see this motion and we don't see a physical movement by the defense, they don't, you know, they don't try and spin anyone down or anything like that. Ball's going out there. We'll get it out there, get the ball outside, get into the perimeter, get it away from all the shit that's in there. I don't think shit physically. But... Okay, this, this was in the Austrian Bowl. Okay, again, they're going to give us a three-man front, they're going to play that wheel back it down, motion, get the ball outside. Okay, positive yardage. The one thing I tell my backs is, don't give me negative yards. If you get the ball back to the line of scrimmage, I'm good with that. I, I get another down, but I don't want to be on second and 15 and, and stuff like that. And make them run. Make them run. Sideline to sideline. Same thing. Go. Throw the ball. Conflict back up. We decided where we wanted to go with that. Okay, this is the guy that's in conflict. He wants to play that, but we know we're going to have that spot in there. Okay, this kid, I, swear, I kid you not, his name is Alex Hotter. Okay, he was a backup the whole year, and then my left guard decided that he got hurt and decided that was it. He was, you know, he may not be able to go and do this. This kid's about this tall. Seriously, it's about that tall, right? But works his balls off the whole time. So he got the start and he, he had a hell of a game. For a young kid, just turned 18, he's actually taken a year off football now because he's got to do his, got to do his uh, mature, I don't know what, you, what they call it. Not sure. too Is it mature? Yeah, so he's got to do that. But that kid, small in size, but there, plays his balls off. I mean, even the camera girl don't know where we're going. Okay. 
build the formation. This is a receiver. We just said, all right, let's, you know, let's make an adjustment. Bring the receiver in, build this. Let's see what we're going to do with him.